you back to Coco with Johnny Mac. And uh, we got the Church Brothers back in the house. I know Sean likes to say they're father and son, but I really believe they're brothers. Okay, so this is a Church Brother production, and uh, we have Cheeto Verdi as our special guest. And uh, just talk about what we're doing tonight. The funny thing is with these uh, real Italian guys and their recipes, they never want to share the real ingredient. And with Cheeto, it's like uh, you're being a made man. He finally gave me the recipe to the dough, and it was like, uh, Tom, to be a made man, did they... Cut first and then share, and then you gotta rub the hands. So I'm gonna show you a little clip how to be made the mafia later. They burned it in my hands, making an oath. So with that being said, you know, Cheeto had taught me the recipe years ago, and he, he, I had to swear to him I wouldn't give it. I mean, I mean, I'm not even kidding. So I was making good money doing the, the brick oven, and uh, they were trying to push me out of this restaurant for cheaper labor. And the guy would say to me, "Hey, Millie wants me to learn the recipe." His name was Oscar, and I would run down quick, make the dough, because I was a loyal guy. And he'd come back up, and it was already done already. And this went on for weeks. And then I gave him a fake recipe. And then finally, when they fired me, and they did fire me, did, are you videotaping this? Yeah. Did you get the quotes? Yeah. <laughs> Tom, do you like the quotes? Love it. You know who hates the quotes? George yes, Carlin hated the quotes. He George said, Carlin? anybody does the fucking quotes, he hates them. Yeah, well, George Carlin's dead. He's dead now. Morta. So, anyway, my friend still worked at the restaurant. To make a long story longer, uh, they would eat the pizza months after and say, you know, Johnny never gave us the recipe to the correct dough. It doesn't taste the same. So I'm going to welcome in Cheeto Verdi, and here he is, our man of the hour. How you doing, Johnny? Cheeto Verdi. I don't know if I'm the man of the hour, but you are the man. Now, I just got to tell you, Cheeto's a little nervous, and I don't know why, but... Uh, He's very picky and very dramatic. He, he fussed with his burrata, his bowls, so we're gonna, we're gonna let him take over in a minute. But I just did want to plug my, my company because they've been crying to me about uh, not using our products. But this is from our Roma, Roma label. This is fresh mozzarella and it's a dry, low fresh, which is perfect for pizza, which we're making tonight. And I also got our uh, knockout punch, is Baccio cheese, which made with a little, whoa, did you see that? Made with a little buffalo milk. We can never tell you what, how much is in there, but this is an excellent product. And these old school Italian guys that are stuck on grande, they don't know what they're talking about. Cheeto Verdi does, and that's why we brought him in tonight. So uh, let's welcome Cheeto. He's gonna go over his uh, notorious and infamous dough recipe. And uh, Cheeto, talk to the crowd so, out there in Queens. So with the dough recipe, it's very simple. And uh, I'm gonna give you slightly my secret but not all the way but we'll make it anyway so i got two cups of water here to make three four pizzas i got four cups of flour we're going to put two tablespoons of the dry yeast and i like to add the salt the salt gives a lot of flavor i'm not a big fan of putting um sugar in the in, uh, in the in the pizza dough recipe and that's my number one secret can i Don't ask you why because a lot of people a lot of people uh, promote sugar to, to speed up the yeast process. Yeah, so I like to slow down my process of rising the yeast. Slow it down. We so like that. What you get is like the sourdough effect. Sourdough so if you make your dough the night before, it's slightly from taste to, to the next day. Joe, sure, I know you're not a bragging man, but who some of the pe pizzas that you made for some famous people in your time? I mean, just like mention a name and I'll probably say yes. Billy Joe. Yes. Actually, I. Um, What's her name? Christy Brinkley, his wife at the now time. we're going back. We're going back to Christy Man 61. Brinkley. I was working at Man 61. Billy was in the hospital. Billy was in the hospital and Christy came, Brinkley came, came by and said, Cheeto, Billy wants one of your fungi pizza. Now, did she ever take you downstairs and show you her fungi or she no, didn't do it? No. no. I'm a okay. married man. All right, man. All right, listen, Cheeto, I'm just asking because <laughs> I know that, you know, lover boy, Rob Cavaletti, he scored. I know you were a handsome man back then. I think you're not now. Put it down on the plant. No, she I was always respectful to her. So she never showed you her fungi? No, she you just made the fungi. I don't even know what the fungi or the woman no, is. She, the fungi is. <laughs> Take your clothes off. So I got two cups of water here. 
I'm gonna take the yeast, it's two tablespoons. And then uh, I'm gonna add, a lot of people don't like to add the salt right away. They like to mix the dough and put the salt. I put everything in together and it's much better that way. And you know, when you put the salt in right away, it kind of, you know. It kind of kills the yeast, but I'm not really, it turns into a I don't thing. want that fast process of the dough rising. Okay. So, right. Hey man, we trust you. And any kind of oil, you can put blended, you can put canola oil. I put this, uh, nice olive oil. Just put like maybe a half espresso cup in there. That's, that, that's a pro right there. Just no measuring. And then what you do is you dilute everything together in the water. I use a wooden spoon to bowl. And once you do that, what I like to do is add half of the flour that I have and stir it in there. Just to see where you are with Just the consistency. Just to see consistency. where the consistency and the, you know, I'm not really a recipe guy, but I'm more of a feel and touch guy. So I like to stir it and all the, let me just like, you want this to become like a liquid almost. Right. Like a soft polenta, let's say, right? So I'm mixing it with the wooden spoon because in the metal, if you have a wooden bowl, it's even better. Is it? Yes. I would have gave you the wooden bowl. That's all right, you know. I'm giving all, so then I just keep that on adding it. pretty good, it. man. You know, no, you don't need no Cuisinart, you don't need no KitchenAid, whatever you want. I'm doing it by hand, man. This is old school. So this is Italian. like, you know, so when you're making it, you just, you stir. And you see how it's coming together? It's almost, it's, John, do me a favor, give me a little more flour. I put four cups here. Sometimes you need four cups. It depends on the day, the humidity of the air and everything. So if you need a little bit more, right. just put a little bit more. Go ahead. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's good. So then, so we're going, we went to four and a half cups to two cups of water right now. And I'm going to mix this in. So now I'm going to put it on the counter. So what I do is I start kneading it in. Chido, you want me to get the pinky ring from the meatball episode, or are you good? No, I'm good. Sure? Right. Just give me a little more flour here. Okay. I love this, man. I love that you're doing the work. Yeah. And I am. I'm happy, man. There you go. Right. That's good. Now, is there any See way that? you like to knead the dough? So you fold it. You fold in, it. fold yeah. it. You turn it. Right. And you just keep on folding it in until you feel... You don't want that too much humidity, you don't want that too much of the dryness of the dough. And right now, this is perfect, you see? It's That's a little perfect. wet. You want it a little wet. You want it a little wet. I wasn't it, sure about that. Yeah. For, for cooking in the, in, at home, so you, you want it a little wet. A little wet. And then you can always add a little flour. Exactly. Right, that's good. And then what you do is you put a little olive oil in the bowl, and then we'll store it. Like put a little olive oil in there and make it nice. Just so it doesn't stick to the bowl. All right. That's a good trick of the trade right there. And then we'll just there dump it, it in there. That looks nice. And now do you let Now you rise? let this rise for 30 minutes. And, we and then you it. make your size balls. Right. Whatever size you want. You want seven ounces, so you want eight only ounces. Only 30 minutes, not overnight, you recommend? No, because no, we want to knead it into the, four, the, the size of the pizza. Oh, okay. And then overnight. Then overnight in the refrigerator. Right. Even two days. Even two three days. days. Even a week. The flour tastes the, better. The exactly. Dough, right? The dough, as long as the more it rises slowly in the refrigerator, the more it picks up a lot of flavor. You get flavor. that, like that biga, that. like the starter of right. you put right. a for sourdough. Sure, you can smell the yeast coming exactly. out. Exactly. I got it. So so that's that's Cheetos are right. I say it could be like a batata. Yeah. Like a yeah. I got it. Yo, capito. Do I got it? So that's that's the story. Now. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna. So we're gonna. This down. What you do is you cover it. Either you you, you put a, a film over it or a wet cloth and you refrigerate it. Okay. And then we're done there. All right. I need a little plastic. This is between seven and eight ounces. I don't like to make a border for individual pizzas. I make a. I don't make them. Dump, even though I'm from Naples, I don't make the Neapolitan style pizza. I make more of like a Roman between Roman and Neapolitan. Not really too thin like the Romans. If you go to Rome and eat pizza. So, but I, so I, I, I flatten my borders. So what I like to do is, I say, I take it from 12 when you're a starter, and then I put it at three o'clock, and then I give a little more flour, and I, I keep on doing this. I leave the center alone. You don't touch the center. 
because you don't, you know, when you start stretching dough, you get those little thin pockets and they start ripping. You don't want that. So, so 12 to three flip and it stays round. If you did 12 to six, it becomes an oval pizza when you're, a, you know, start a beginner. So I open it enough, just tap the center a little bit. Then I put my hands inside the pinkies on each edge and I concentrate on turning the outer part of the dough. You see what I'm doing? I'm not touching the center at all. Three to four inches open. See what I did? There you go. And here's the pizza. I'll go a little faster. And here you go. And when you're at home, see, nice and even, no thin parts. And that's the pizza. Then I'll take the peel. John has a metal peel. That I could, I'll make it and I'll put it right on like that. So. That's nice, that pie. That's a nice pie right there. Yeah. Very nice. So I'll take a nice size tablespoon, put one, two, and maybe we'll put the third one. And then you go in circles. Okay. And then you go the opposite way, staying away from the edges. The border, you want to make it smaller, you make it bigger, you leave it a little bit. But like I said, I don't make the, the fluffy, Zeppoli type of border like they do in Napoli. Just a little bit more. So now what I'm gonna do is take this and pre-cook it with just the sauce. I'll take it and I'll put it in the oven. Right on the stone. Now we'll let that cook three to four minutes, depending, I'll check it within three minutes and then I'll see how it, it goes. So Cheetos Pizza's in. I know we, we led the crowd to believe that there was gonna be a pizza challenge, but you know, honestly, I used to kick Cheetos ass in stick ball. He's gonna, you know, he's got some people on the block, you know, saying otherwise, but you know, that'll come in the summer. But I, I can't beat this guy in pizza. You know, I, I just got thrown in the towel. No, he's too good. So what I wanted to do is so I, what's with I, the black glove? I used uh, the black glove is because I shredded some uh, finger before doing a short provolone. So uh, be careful what you're eating later. All right, Same it might food. not be red sauce. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so listen. So Cheeto, when I'm doing this, I haven't made pizza in 25 years. Yeah, is this improper stretching? It's improper stretching, but like what I said is like if you go. Can I, right, can right. I, can to yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I just put a little more. Cause you know, I, I'm in, I, I got a huge Put your piece. hands inside and then you concentrate on pulling the outside and coming around. I got you. Like that. All right. Okay. Yeah. But so you don't believe in this? I believe in it. It's just that I did a table stretch, it's called. Okay. And that's hand toss stretch. Why, now why do they got all these fancy names for stretch? Like what yeah, stretch? Because every, I mean, you know, who, they, who's glorifying the pizza business? Along the years, everybody wants to give their yeah. little input in, and little that's what happens. Now, now, I'm a quiet guy, as you can tell, as, as I'm Chico, talking not for nothing. I'm not bragging, even though I, I really beat you in stick ball. Right, I'm sorry that you all mentioned right. that. Okay. Listen, Cheeto, I'm going to tell you one thing, though. There you I, go. You got the slap. I, did, I do got a pizza challenge coming up at Rome Foods. That's I, fine also. So I bragged to them, you know. I remember doing this. And then yeah. doing a little of these. You can you know? do that, yeah. Right, do that. little of these, right? That's the hand toss. Right, right. You do but that's for the larger pizza. This is okay. an individual pie, I call All it. All right, so. So now you opened it up. Now let me, like, let's say you're a beginner now. Okay. Stop, you stop. Right. You let it rest for like a minute. Right. Then you go back to it. It's gonna open up so easy, like okay. magic. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's let's look. So just you 30, don't pull it all just at once. Thirty seconds, right? right? I'm gonna, can I just take over? Yeah. So it sits here thirty seconds. It's gonna open up. Look, it opens up like magic. Right. It's, okay. So you let it sit a little bit. Okay. Even when you want to hand toss it, you hand toss right. it. I don't like to hand toss it because then you get these. You see these little pockets here? Yeah, I got. Up you. in the dough. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So right. that's that's so it. So I'm gonna put together just a white pie for us. And, yeah. Uh, there you go. I noticed another thing that you did was you, you put your ingredients on the table, not on the peel. I always did it on the peel. Is there a reason why you didn't do that? Well, in, in Napoli, when you're making a, a hundred pizzas a night in, right. in two hours, I'm listening. so they, they lay out all their pizzas on the marble, so they have an aerated right. metal, it's got holes right. in it, it's aerated. Right. And it goes slides right underneath the, the right. dough, and then they stretch it out and they put it in there. But both ways are correct. If you want right. to put on a wooden peel, you're fine with right. that. 
you want to use the, the marble top and then you, you you put all the ingredients on top and then you want right. to scoop it up, right. you can. Okay. Now, can I criticize you a little bit? Yeah, again. This is too good to cook. Cheeto. You put that at the end. Cheeto. I'm sorry, John. Cheeto, Cheeto, Cheeto. I don't know. Cheeto. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I get it for free. I get, I get it for free. Yeah, I right. charge you. Okay. I, but when you drizzle this at the end, that's when you get the flavor you of that oil. You get the flavor, all right. I'll put a little more in there. Yeah, to make that's it nice. Here, right? There you go. Cheeto, listen. Look at you. you we made, we, we made, I, we you made, can tell that you were born in America because you put all this cheese on. You're overpowering. Cheater, cheater. I'm not overpowering anything, man. <laughs> all right, listen. Let me open the other for you. Yeah, let me explain yeah. something here. Yeah, okay. We made 200 dollars grilled cheese sandwiches here. The next show is going to be a $50 of with, with wow. real rack of lamb. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. You're a pro. Bravo. Right, cheater. Man, we're not messing around here. All right, so I'm so, going now. As yours is cooking, yeah. I'm going to finish my pizza, right? And then, because I pre-cooked it, I like, like it. I said, right? And then you no, gotta, no, 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 explain to the people. Hold you on. You have a little yeah. cookie rack like this, and I want you to touch touch the bottom. It's crisp. It's, it's crisp. It's moist. It's beautiful. I taught you this. I said I got the cooler rack. Right? All right, you got now, the cooler rack. Now, listen, let me, <laughs> let me explain something. Now, tell the people at home why we do this. If you got one pizza stone you want to get head, you can pour, cook five pies, and then you shoot them out at five, at five minutes. And I'm going to put it right on the rack of the oven on the top. That's what I'm talking about. And it's, as, yeah, so that's yeah. what happens. So I'm just going to add a little bit of more sauce, a little bit more. Sound like I'm really from Italy right now. I am. I was very born into an Italian family, by the way, so. And I used to go to Naples a lot, and my uncle used to smack me in the head if I did something wrong. Like, if I put the truffle oil like he did first, I get that smack in the head like no tomorrow. And that's it, see this? Not overpowering the pizza. Cause these are, these are thin crust pizzas. You don't want to overpower too much ingredients. Cause then I'll, what I'll do is, I'll dabble the sauce on top a little bit. So the cheese, cause this cheese is a little dry so it makes it moist. Cheeto, here and in it, America, we got enough sauce here. We're not struggling like the Italian economy, so we put it all on. There you go. We're not dabbling any. So then what I'm going to do is, I'm not even going to put it on the stone anymore. No? No. I'm going to put it right on the rack. Who's going to clean the oven if it feels like it's for it, No. I don't like this. Okay. It's not really, you know. So now you just do it like that. Like that. And then when, when yours is almost ready, I'm going to hit it with a little broil. For 10 seconds. crazy. Oh, we gotta do it because right. you get that charred effect. I think these the guys are in for a good pizza. 